Hey, YouTube, it might be a little windy, so I'm hoping that the audio is okay. But I'm out here having a walk. I was testing the uh, headphones with recording earlier. And hopefully the audio is good. I think it'll be fine. We're just going to pace around this parking lot a little bit and talk. Because I'm feeling strangely good. And it's kind of scaring me. It's because it's so unconventional uh, what I'm doing right now. Um, let's see. Yesterday was day four of an extended water fast, and during that day, I made it also a dry fast. So um, that basically means no water intake, uh, pretty much at all. Um, and it went really, really well. It was the easiest dry fasting I'd ever done. Uh, I didn't notice any negative repercussions or side effects. Um, I was able to get a lot of work done. Yesterday was Monday, day four, and it was, it was actually kind of pleasant. Um, given that it was day four of a, of a fast period, and in this case it was a dry fast, I ended up losing four pounds altogether. I started at uh, 163.8, roughly. The scale is kind of hard to read sometimes. And I ended up in the 160 range. So we're rounding up a little bit with four pounds, but four pounds in one day, that's insane. That's insane. That's a month's worth of weight loss uh, on your, your standard dieting practices. I'm gonna be low calorie and work out every day and, and then each week I'll lose a pound. I just lost four in a day. That's, that's crazy to my mind. That, to me, that's like a little unsettling. Like, is it healthy? Well, I've, I've suffered zero strength repercussions. Uh, my maximum with pull-ups has actually gone up. Uh, my endurance is crazy. I, my, my energy levels are through the roof throughout the day. I'll tell you a story about this morning here in a second. But uh, there's, there's zero things wrong. And what's freaking me out right now is on this dry fast. I'm doing a soft dry fast. What that means is I can touch water, but I can't drink it. And my mouth isn't dry. I'm not thirsty. And I'm freaking out because it's, uh, it's hour 40 now of no water ingested. But because I said it was a soft dry fast, oh, a little windy. Hopefully that doesn't mess up the audio too much, folks. Um, because I said I'm on a soft dry fast, I've been taking ice baths at the end of the day. So near the end of the first 24 hours, I filled the tub with lots of cold water, threw in these big chunks of ice that we froze in some keg cups or whatever, and uh, laid in a tub for an hour. So I definitely think that my body has absorbed water through that. Oh, I really hope the audio isn't messed up with this wind. Ah. Can we just stop for a second and look how beautiful this is? There's some palm trees behind me as I turn. There's trees in this parking lot. Hello, building. Oh, it's nice. There's a nice bus over there. Oh, colorful. Insert your own joke about buses and candy and puppies and help me find it. Um, so, soft fast, a soft dry fast is amazing. I'm loving the way I feel. Uh, burnt a crap ton of calories with a uh, kind of like a, what do you call it? It's like a pedal bike but it's just the pedals. You put it under your desk. I threw it up on Instagram, you can find it there. Works like a charm. Um, zero problems today. I was pedaling almost literally all day yesterday. And then at the end of the day, I took an ice bath and burned who knows how many more calories after that. Um, feeling so good. It's crazy. I, I urinated a lot more after the bath than I had the entire previous day. So I, I think as a guess, I'm not a doctor. I think I absorbed some water in the tub. <laughs> and that's great. That's good. But, um, yeah, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of freaked out. Because shouldn't I be thirsty? Shouldn't I be craving water right now? Shouldn't I be dying at hour 40 of not drinking anything? Apparently not. I'm out for a walk in the sun. I feel fine. Um, cell phone is full charge, so if I suddenly collapse and need to hit an emergency call to 911, I'll be okay. <laughs> but 
but I, I really don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, I'm thinking of doing another ice bath today and maybe keep it going, maybe break it. Talking like this, I kinda, kinda want some water, but it's just weird, man. Everything I've believed about fitness and health and what you need to eat and drink has just been challenged over these past three weeks. It's like, no, you, if you just stop eating, you actually won't go into starvation mode. Your, your body will adjust and just eat the fat that's there. Great. When the fat's gone, then it'll eat muscle. It, crazy. I thought like, I had to have some kind of intake, some kind of calories so that I didn't lose all my gains. <sighs> Turns out it's kind of just the opposite, a really low calorie diet with multiple uh, eating windows during the day. So if you're eating frequencies really high, that actually puts you in a catabolic state. Your muscles disappear. Great. Great. So <laughs> I learned so much, like chewing gum. Chewing gum with its artificial sweeteners. Um, artificial sweeteners. They they kick me out of ketosis, according to the little pea strips I use. And so for years, I've just been putting myself in this catabolic state every time I'm chewing a piece of gum, just giving myself negative feedback loops, negative progress on any kind of strength gain I want to make. And then it turns out not eating at all maintains, if not improves your strength, depending on the window of eating that you're using. That's, that's it's, it's insane. That's insane. I'm, I'm freaking out. Now it turns out I can actually go without water for days. I touched water. So, I mean, take that as you will. Maybe I'm not as honest in that case as possible. But you, you get my point? Try not drinking water for a day. Do you get a headache? I remember I used to get headaches when, when I'd be really thirsty. Uh, my mouth would be incredibly dry. Uh, but not now. Is it because I'm... I'm in ketosis, where my body is just burning up fat. It's awesome. I can actually see the top layer of abs in my belly now. Um, I actually look good. Sorry, I'm just getting that angle right. Hey, friends. Um, I feel really confident. I feel smaller. I've lost inches in my chest, belly and hips, my waist. Everything looks great. In total, this is now 14 days of fasting, and that includes three days including today and, and some practice last time, three days of dry fasting. And that's amazing. It's just, it's just life changing. I, I cannot recommend this enough to anyone who's been struggling with weight loss issues. You'll be fine. Just try, try for 48 hours. Get through a 24 hour period. If you're not dying, push yourself a little bit further, get another 24, boom, you just did two days without food. And that's, that's a huge achievement. Because who in your society actually does that in your immediate circle of friends? Who does that? I, I mentioned this to my cousins. We, we visited them recently. We were like, yeah, right now we're, we're not eating. Oh, cool. I don't know if you can see it. There's a, there's a lizard down here. Right down here. Lizard. That little guy probably eats one meal a day. So I'm talking to my cousin about what we're doing and she mentioned that she's probably never gone 24 hours without eating altogether. And that's that's common. I'm not judging her at all. I've been in that case. I was like, yeah, what do you mean you don't eat? It makes no sense. But then you do it and get through the first two to three days of craziness. Like, cause you're, you're maybe frustrated. Maybe you get a little bit of anxiety as your body's like, ah, I'm not eating. And maybe you feel a little sluggish or brain foggy, but I promise you, you break through that. You break through that two or three day stretch of, of frustration and, and low energy, and it's just us on the other end of it. Um, in total, weight loss wise, I've lost 20 pounds. I started at 180, I'm now down to 160. Feeling awesome. Um, Inches lost on my chest. I think that started at 42 and I'm now at 38 this morning. I'll need to look at that again. Sorry if I'm lying to you, but uh, And then belly is down four inches as well. No, 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 three, two. It's down a few inches. I, I'll show you the graphs in a later video. I'm keeping everything in a graph and in, uh, in Mathematica because it's fun. I, I love graphs. I really like data. I like making pretty lines made of rainbows. 
Judge me later. So, um, dry fasting, though, I think, I think is more of a healing device. I'm, I'm loving it. I feel great. But I think I could lose similar amounts with a water fast. Probably not as drastic. I've never done four pounds in a day before. But, it, for instance, my ears ring. I have tinnitus, okay? I usually have small little pebbles, is what it feels like, when I push on the area beneath my ear right here. Hope that camera angle got I can't really see the camera. So when I push there, I have like, like little pebbles in the side of my head. It's just inflamed eardrums, lymph nodes. I'm not sure what they are. Again, I'm not a doctor. But uh, it always feels like an ear infection. They're always really sensitive to air pressure stuff. Um, they constantly ring. So this morning, after 36 hours of dry fast, yeah, that would have been about seven, eight, yeah, okay. Um, so this morning, the ringing's less. My left ear is almost impossible to hear the ringing. My right ear is a higher pitch, but less volume. So much less annoying. Uh, the swelling has gone down. This morning it felt like crushed M&Ms rather than pebbles. A little swollen node there. Um, now it feels a little harder. A little bit harder, but I'm... I'm not worried. I, they're still softer than they've ever been. The ringing's still really low. I always listen to headphones and whatnot at a really low volume. I don't know. I, that's kind of a non sequitur. We'll talk about that later. But uh, dry fasting is healing up a bunch of stuff that I didn't know there was really a cure for. Even even if it's um, anecdotally, a, what, what do you call it? Um, a placebo effect. Even if it's a placebo effect, I don't care. I don't care. I believe it's helping me, and that's kind of the definition of the placebo effect. That's what'll fix myself, heal myself, get rid of it. Great, great. But I've noticed other benefits as well. I'm more flexible, stretching less. So I'm stretching every three days instead of one, and I can turn my neck now past my shoulder. And yeah, I've been working on it a little bit, but. It also feels like I'm less inflamed. I've got less inflammation everywhere. I've got less body weight I'm carrying around. I lost 20 pounds, son. 20 pounds in 14 days. And in the middle of those 14 days, I had some Vegas debauchery, okay? I'm running around, getting drinks, eating two plus times a day. I, uh, I wasn't fasting, I wasn't eating very well. I was, I was eating okay. And I was, I was partaking in caffeine again, I quit caffeine a while back, and alcohol. And I didn't gain a pound. Nothing came back. Because the majority of days, I was putting my, my eating and debauchery into the end of the day, almost like a one meal a day schedule. So it was very easy to maintain this. But 20 pounds, I, I haven't weighed 160 pounds since I was a wee lad. Oh man, that wind. Let's get in real close to Trister. Hey, it's windy. <laughs> Sorry, folks, if the audio is crap. Um, yeah, I haven't weighed 160 since I was a little kid. Before I got to be El Gordo. And no one called me that. I just call myself that now. After, uh, after growing up and losing a bunch of weight. Um, yeah, I used to weigh 250 pounds. I was just... Like five seven, chunky little kid, and it's nice to get out of that. It's nice to grow past it. It's nice to realize I don't have to be defined that way or think of myself that way anymore. It's nice to actually feel fit. Even when I was I was weighing like 180 pounds, I still felt fit, but now I feel like I'm owning it. Call Luke. You've worked out for a few years now. You like running all these things, so. What do you have to show for it? Yeah, you lost some weight and you look fine by society standards. But are you going to be shirtless ever? That's my goal. Uh, I want to be shirtless at the beach. I want to I want to go to a pool and not be kind of self-conscious. Like I have to stand up extra straight and suck in my gut. Screw that. 
screw that. And a lot of that's mental, a lot of that's stuff I need to work on. But why not just own that? Why not just have a body that I'm, I'm proud of to a point that I almost have to put no effort into being proud of it. It just is something to be proud of. Get there, why not? Other people have done it. I mean, look at movie stars, okay? And I know that's a really bad example because of magazines and whatnot, but, but it's also a really good example because let's say they're in their 40s and they look like they're in their early 30s and their body is in their 20s. I mean, they, they work out like crazy. They eat the right way. They look great. And they have a lot of time to dedicate to that. So how can I achieve anything similar? Fast. Fast and then feast. My goal is to get down to 150 pounds. I want to be 150 pounds lean. I'm actually surprised I don't have more muscle mass. It's kind of embarrassing. <sighs> Sorry, Broden, I failed you. But uh, that's okay. You can always build up. Sorry, man, that camera angle, it's all windy. You've, you've dealt with a lot, YouTube. Thank you so much for your patience with this video. But uh, I would highly recommend dry fasting to you if you're looking to heal something. You'll heal very fast, by the way. Uh, I know I gave an example of tinnitus with my ears, but also like I had a I had a small cut on my thumb. Let's see. Oh, it might be hard to zoom in on that, but one day, one day I'll I'll learn how cameras work. So I had a small cut on my thumb that is almost completely healed up as of like three days ago. It was a paper cut. I yelled out, I was completely destroyed. My wife teased me. <laughs> No, she was very supportive. There was blood everywhere, and uh, now it's now it's all healed up. So you heal really fast, especially while dry fasting, and I would highly recommend it to anyone who needs to utilize those purposes. I've heard it will help me with my loose skin later. That's nice. I don't mind my stretch marks. I actually don't. I feel like I was attacked by a, like a wolverine or something. Battle scars all over my torso. But... Uh, Apparently it can help heal those as well. So we'll see. We'll see. Mostly I just want the loose skin gone. I'm going to get rid of this last 10 pounds of fat. And who knows if it's the last. Maybe I got 20 left. Maybe I got another 20 to go. You know what? I'll get there. I'll get there. Because this is easy, son. This is easy. It's crazy how addicted to food we are. And I'm talking about myself. It's like anecdotally, we're all really addicted to food. I'm not hungry in my gut. Real hunger hasn't come back to me yet. Because I still have fat my body's eating, right? What I really feel is like a frustration. What I really feel is like a, an anxiousness. God, I really... That's, that's too strong of a word. Anxious, anxiety. But I really want to eat. I'm craving grilled cheese and pizza and steak. So much steak. And, <laughs> but then you just think about it for a second. You go, oh, no, no, no. That craving's here. It's not here. In my, I'm pointing at my belt. How far do I have to tilt that down? My God, here. <laughs> so when you realize that, you're just like, oh yeah, I'll go on another day. Today's day five, day two of a dry fast. Here we go. See how long I can go. I'm gonna go take another ice bath. I'm gonna lose another four pounds today. Watch me. Watch me be 156 tomorrow. Maybe. You gotta believe it, right? <sighs> I haven't been peddling as much. Finished up some business calls this morning. Mouth wasn't dry. Oh, what a great day. So, uh, oh, what was I gonna say? <coughs> uh, I think this dry fasting is, is super good for the body to like cleanse stuff away because I woke up at 3 a.m. this morning and my mind just started exploding with ideas. Luke had ideas and uh, I got up, I start writing them down on this, this notepad. Got some fun stuff I'll be working on this week. And then I realized I, I'm not tired. I'm not tired at all. Finished a few sleep cycles. It's, I'm just kind of awake. Okay, all right. So I, I sat up reading for a little while. Eventually tried to fall back to sleep. I did fall back to sleep. Woke up with the uh, wife's alarm and the morning went well, but I just felt so creative so self-confident so happy to be alive i was i was so grateful in that moment at 3 a.m just to just to exist 
I felt this drive, like, I'm going to get up, I'm going to start my day, and I kind of did, kind of, I mean, you, you wrote some ideas down and, and read, but, and then fell asleep again, um, but it's the idea behind that feeling. I'm taking part in lifestyle choices right now that have me feeling good, not only about myself, but about the world, about the life I'm living, about the people around me. I, I feel hopeful for what's going on everywhere. We, humanity can get through this. My neighborhood can get through this. My family will push through this. I will overcome anything in my path. I, I'm just incredibly optimistic. It's, it's a wonderful side effect. Maybe it's because I feel better about myself. Maybe it's because I look better. Maybe it's a health issue. Maybe my body is working through any like negative hormones that have been stored in fat for decades. I don't know. I'm just spitballing. But I feel good. I'm going to keep doing it. Until I feel like I'm hurting myself or I'm dying or I can't perform well. I like to exercise. I like to stimulate my body. I like to be very flexible. If I can't do those things, I'll eat. I'll drink water. I'm not anorexic. It's not a crazy idea. I think this is actually how humans are supposed to function. I think we're supposed to go long amounts of time without eating and then you eat a boatload of food. I think that's how we're supposed to do it. If not, I think that's how I'm supposed to do it. Even if it's only one meal a day or, or as frequently as one meal a day, that just seems to work for me really well. So, I don't know, try it out. Thank you so much for your time. Just a little update, a little personal vlog here on my health. Loving what I'm doing. Loving this sunshine on this windy day with the trees everywhere. I'm gonna go for my walk, absorb some vitamin D, and get back to work. I needed a little break. I just got off the phone with a bunch of financial people and so many questions and it, it debates the wrong word, but like, like discussing terms and stuff. It's whew. so get a little walk and then get to any creative projects, get this video posted, send some love your way. I hope you're doing well. Comment down below what you're doing in your life. How are you taking care of yourself? I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Oh, and thanks for your patience with the, the audio visual stuff. I know I'm walking around. Maybe the camera's shaky. It's been windy. Hopefully I'm not just screaming into your ears. Thank you. Bye. And if I may.